Vinnie McHugh and welcome to this Compass Whiteboard session uh, where we're going to have a, a general high level overview of um, data protection and security in a cloud uh, infrastructure. So in this diagram we have a, a generic hybrid cloud, we have our private on-premise infrastructure and our public off-premise infrastructure and a generic service provider. We've got a couple of switches or networking environment, we've got some hosts, maybe ESX host and some generic storage there. Um, in our, in our off-premise public environment we have a couple of our networking represented there and we've got just some virtual machines and uh, generic virtual machines and applications uh, listed here. So the first point I wanted to talk about would be um, uh, uh, encryption. Um, so whether that's data rest or data in flight, same as your, um, as your own local uh, data center encryption should be uh, considered, especially for that more sensitive uh, data, which you don't want to uh, compromise. So whether it's uh, locally stored, whether it's stored at the storage level, whether you, as it's moving about, if we're going across uh, shared lines, across the internet, maybe across a VPN, it's very important to ensure you've got the right encryption levels for your data here. When, when we're looking at building out a, a, a public cloud environment or a, a hybrid cloud environment, we should consider that public cloud as an extension of our data center. It's another data center, it's another location. We may not own or control over the physical environment, but in terms of that authentication, in terms of the services from the, our domain controllers, our DNS, um, that should all be built out as if you were building out next to a separate uh, data center site, uh, for example. Other things we should, second point I'd like to look at is access control. So if we have users, it's important we put in the right level of access control. We don't want to give the users too much access control, put them into the correct groups, um, put the right controls, the policies around this, uh, and governance to ensure we're given just the right amount of uh, access to the right groups and the right people. Um, with VMware, of course, with VFR 6, things like the platform service controller, which is built in now, makes this easier, uh, especially in our, in our VMware's environment. Um, and we can build authentication for private or public at various different locations. Um, so we have a a single sign-on on one point of our authentication. Okay, another point I'd like to make, I suppose, is security training. It's important that uh, we ensure that our team and our users are aware of the security implications, are aware of what's happening, how data can be compromised, how leakage can happen, and so we so ensure they're vigilant uh, and compliant uh, against, uh, against these outcomes. Um, so that's an important point as well. Um, from our service provider point of view, we need to do some checks around here as well. We need to check out the service provider. We need to make sure their regular compliance, make sure their, their audits are in tune with the same audit we would run internally. We need to make sure they have the right level of certifica cert certificate level, at that ISO level. For example, depending on the applications or end user customers or our own data, which we're going to be storing here, um, we want to be able to check who's working there at the service provider level, maybe we can do background checks, do they do the service provider do background check on the people, what logging, what monitoring tools have they got, what dashboards are they going to provide us that will tie into our own, uh, into our own um, uh, operation uh, uh, applications. Uh, we want to make sure we have the right SLAs. Um, where's the location going to be stored? What sort of multi-tenancy uh, or single uh, environment Will it be a dedicated environment? Will I be sharing uh, sharing the underlying infrastructure, or will I be given dedicated infrastructure? Can I separate out and build security around my different applications? And again, with VMware, with things like VShield, VShield uh, Edge, VShield uh, Apps, I can I can put uh, that this more granular level of control and uh, uh, around these uh, in, in these environments as well. Um, when I delete data from my service provider. Is it actually deleted from the cloud? Um, do I own the data? So all that contract, all that regulation things, that's important uh, to consider when I'm looking uh, at uh, 
building out into a cloud environment as well. Firewalls, uh, very important that you're building in the right firewalls. Of course, in your local environment, that you have the right firewalls in place. For the diagram. Over here also, the service provider will probably have their own firewalls. Bear in mind, most service providers will allow you to uh, put in your own proprietary firewall as well, whether it's a software or a hardware appliance. You can, say for example, a lot of the, the B-Cloud Air uh, environments will allow you to put in, build in your own proprietary uh, 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 firewall, which gives you that extra layer of security and control over your data residing out in the cloud um, and ensures it's maintaining the right uh, SLA or right security policies that you want to uh, have in place as well. Um, there's only third party um, uh, considerations that you can integrate. There's a uh, so for consistent security policies, there's additional software, various different third party packages out there which will, uh, which will ensure that consistent uh, uh, policies uh, across it out into the cloud. Um, I should also mention, we talked, we briefly mentioned that for connecting out to probably a VPN is probably the most traditional way we would connect. There is options for a dedicated line um, where we can connect from our, our private out to the public as well. Again, it depends on the uh, service provider, it depends on the services that you're connecting to. Uh, but again, for that additional security, obviously having a dedicated line and an unshared line might give you that uh, uh, additional uh, uh, comfort and security. If you if you so require, um, antivirus we should uh, we should bear in mind, and anti malware and threats to that nature. Uh, we need to make sure, like our own, like across our environment, that this is built in. Maybe we need to talk to service provider about this to see what level is built in there. But we should be putting in our own uh, to ensure it's there. Again, things like VShield, Endpoint. Uh, that can be built in and, and the various different um, uh, security vendors can, can assist here as well. Um, in terms of uh, uh, recovery, of recovery, so if there's data loss, what sort of recovery is there going to be? Um, and of course, uh, one of the final points I'd like to mention as well is the endpoint security as well. So if I'm connecting in from mobile devices, from laptops, from remote, from, from the office for example, what sort of security is being put in the endpoint devices? We mentioned about the encryption uh, for the data and for the connections and we talked about the governance and the access control, but what about the devices themselves? Where is the data being stored? Is the data being stored out here on these uh, endpoint devices? Is it all being stored uh, under a controlled environment? Um, things like uh, or VDI solutions can be very beneficial here. Things like AirWatch, of course, can be very beneficial here uh, for that security levels, uh, if you so require, and to prevent things like data leakage and so on. Uh, of course, traditionally, we've looked at security as being, I could draw a circle around here, around the whole environment, and we've looked at preventing people from getting access. And the problem is, once access is obtained, they have a, a, a kind of a uncontrolled access within that environment then. So more and more we're looking at this micro-segmentation where not only do we have the, uh, the outside perimeter, but even we can segment off services uh, from within our own environment. Um, and the is leading here, uh, we can, with things like NSX and that, which we'll, uh, which we'll hear about more in the future. So as we're talking about security, really should mention the VMware Security Hardening Guide, which is available uh, on the VMware website. Definitely recommend uh, having a look at this. This will go through a, a plethora of best practices and recommendations and, and changes that you can make in your environment with various different priority levels as well. Um, so definitely worth check out. So from our point of view, we partner with some of the leading um, uh, security companies uh, in the market. So if this is something you'd like to find out more about or talk about, it goes without saying, don't hesitate to contact us. So, thank you for watching.